Sister, it's Joanne. I'm back with another video for you, and this is Two Crafts, um, kind of St. Patrick's Patrick <laughs> and let's try that again. It's kind of St. Patrick's theme, so St. Patrick's -y Crafts. So, I got these hats from the dollar store for 50 cents a piece. I don't know what exactly was wrong with them, other than they're kind of creased, but we're going to be using those, along with some flowers from the dollar store, and some hot glue. And then for my other craft that we're going to be doing, I'm using an apron, and you can find kids' aprons at the dollar store, I'm sure. But I got this out of my blend box. And then I'm using a sponge and some paint, and I have my paint palette. So I'm just going to use a sponge that I got from my blend box and a couple of paints. So you can even get this stuff at the dollar store, um, except for the paints, but you can get that at Walmart for like 97 cents. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut out a shamrock. But I'm not going to cut out a shamrock. Now that it makes sense, I know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my thing over. I'm going to make a heart. Woo, that was fun. That was fun. Everybody should have that much fun. Whee, there we go again. Okay, now we got to fold this over. And we're going to take a snippet. And then we're going to round the edges. My niece is here, guys. <laughs> and she's making fun of me, I think. Yeah, I come this way more. There she Hi, is. Hi, guys! Anyway, first time in a couple months we've actually been able to get together together for videoing purposes. That's part of why videos have been a little more lax as of late um, on both our channels because usually we help one another video and my niece is again laughing at me. <laughs> It looks like she's trying to make a diamond. I'm making a diamond heart here. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay, let's go. Okay, <laughs> so you make a heart, not a... It looks like a heart diamond, diamond heart. Okay, so you do your best. Then we're going to put some paint on here. I'm using yellow on my green apron. And I'm just going to take my heart. I'm going to dip that in. And I'm going to put it on the pocket. One there. And I'm going to put another one there. And I better get some more paint on this thing. And one there. And I'm going to make a shamrock out of a heart. By taking just a triangular piece. And we're going to take in... Dab, 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 dab. Dab! Then I'm just going to make that the stem. And just by taking a heart shape, I can make my, make a couple of shamrocks on here. And you want to make sure that every inch of that sponge gets coated in some kind of paint. Because it would be really bad if you only get part of the thing. Yeah, we need more paint. <laughs> Try to fix that one there. There we go. And so that if you get a plain apron and you want something, add a little flair to it. Anyway, I didn't think to put something under this. But there you go. Take and have a little fun. Cut out whatever shape you want. Use a plain apron. Please don't be stupid like me. And put something down on your table to protect it. Unless it's a boring craft table like my old ones were. And because what happened is when I pressed down, the paint went through to the back. And you can just add a little flair to a very plain, cheap um, apron. So that's one way I used up blend block stuff. Was by creating a project... And normally that would have turned out better, but it is getting later in the night, and I think I'm a little bit more out of it. Now I'm going to take these hats, and I cut off the tag on this one, and like I said, they only cost me 50 cents. I wanted to be able to convert from St. Patrick's Day right into Easter and not ever have to do anything to my hat. So I'm going to take some flowers, and I'm going to add it on there with a little bit of hot glue. So I have my Easter hat, but I can also wear it for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to take a mix of colors because that's what I like for Easter is like a mix of colors. That's just me. 
and I may even take off the stems when I get done, but we'll see. And I like some to have leaves and some to not have leaves. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of glue them around. There, I have my Easter hat. As simple as that. I could go all the way around if I wanted to. Should I go all the way around? What? Yeah, that looks like it's going to be good. Put a nice generous amount of glue on the back of the bow. Hey, wait a minute. You weren't supposed to go up that high. There we go. Now, before Easter though, I'm going to take this off of its pick. And I'm going to glue it on my hat. So I have a bunny on my hat. I think I'll have him coming out of the out of over there. So we're gonna put a little bit of glue and just stick him down. And there we go. I really have an awesome Easter hat. Don't you guys want one like mine? Oh, that's why it looks so weird. Sorry guys, I had a piece going. So we got this fantabulous hat. I think it looks really cute. Comment down below what you think I should make my other hat into. My sister had an idea, something that she said, and I can't remember what she told me. I'll have to ask her tomorrow. But uh, we'll see if we can't come up with something else for the hat. But I wanted an Easter hat, so I thought this would be a cheap, easy way for just a couple bucks, I made myself an Easter hat. Now, let's see if I wear it on Easter. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe if you haven't already and you're looking for more of the crafting content. I also do unboxings and some cooking and um, challenges. Sometimes... Uh, haul videos so um, comment down below some of the stuff you'd like to see me try or take on I'm also doing personal growth and development this year and so if there's something you'd like to see me take on in any of those categories let me know so I know what to get for future reference um, I also am not posting on a schedule right now I had planned to but some things have gotten in the way mental health and all that so please click the notification bell if you are subscribed so you know when the videos go up and um i hope you have a wonderful day filled with lots of love and laughter and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye guys